Lobster is an important part of the fabric of life for harvesters on the Eastport Peninsula, and protection of the local lobster population and its habitat became a priority for local harvesters following the decline of the gram fish stocks in the early 1990s. Well, years ago when people didn't have as much to do, well, the cod fishery was shut down, so every lobster license become active, and when all the lobster licenses are active, of course, there's more effort put into it, and more effort means more abuse on the uh, lobster stocks themselves. To curb the, uh, the fact that people were taking undersized lobsters and just abused in different ways, this uh, committee was formed. Some member of the committee recognized that there, there, was a, there was a problem in a certain area with different uh, fishermen. A member of the committee would go and talk to that fisherman and uh, you'd uh, you know, just basically tell them to either smarten up or the next call would be from DFO. Well, once uh, we, we got, you know, got everything straightened out, got our closed area and everything done, uh, we realized then that we need actually enforcement in this closed area. And uh, we also needed science work done as well. In the fall now, when, uh, you know, when the lobster traps are out in the closed area, of course, and in the adjacent area, DFO always uh, provides uh, patrol. And, uh, you know, we haven't had any problems with any, uh, any traps being hauled. So obviously DFO is doing their job. The Eastport Marine Protected Area is a joint conservation effort between local harvesters of the Eastport Peninsula and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. We have two programs in order to determine the performance of the Marine Protected Area. The first is a at-sea sampling program that happens during the commercial fishery, and in the fall of the year we have a tagging program that happens inside and surrounding the MPA. The tagging program is carried out by local harvesters using traps designed to capture lobsters of all sizes and to track changes in the size and movement of lobster around the protected area. Captured lobsters are tagged, measured, and released at each monitoring area. It's already tagged from last year or the year before. So I will record the number in this log book and the size of the lobster and then release it. When fishing effort is high, few lobsters survive to grow beyond commercial size, typically a little over a pound. Fall of the year, after the commercial fishery, local harvesters conduct a tagging program. See, when the, when the lobster molt, uh, it'll, the, the tag, uh, well, I, I say 80% of the time will stay with the lobster. But, uh, you know, if you put a, a, a tag on any part of the shell, once the lobster molt, the tag is lost. The data collected by harvesters is sent to DFO for analysis to help manage the protected area. The monitoring data we receive helps us understand the population growth and movement of local lobster. The MPA provides a refuge from fishing and allows more lobster to reach a larger size. He's between four and a half, I'd say between four and four and a half now. We have seen significant increases in the lobster size inside the protected area. Larger lobster have a higher survival rate and produce more eggs than smaller lobsters. 